Hey guys, it's Naples. Welcome back to our farm in Calm Lands. As you can see, I'm just finishing up loading uh, some straw bills on this trailer because next month, December, uh, straw will be at its best. So I decided to go ahead and already load up this trailer for next month. Okay, that one is on. Maybe throw a strap over. There we go. Yes, as you can see, I decided to bring the forklift over because the tractor and front loader can't reach uh, three high. So yeah, I decided to uh, rent the forklift again from the store. And since we have quite a few bills, I want to do uh, as many bills in one trip as I can. So we now have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 14. Yeah, 14 remaining and there are 15 on this trailer. But that makes a total of, that's right, 29. Throw another one over. There we go. So yeah, that one is uh, all ready to go. But yeah, we're not going to be selling those just yet. We'll be next month. We have a different job. As you can see, this tractor was already waiting. The uh, olive grove or whatever it's called. The olive uh, plantation over there needs to be plowed up apparently after harvest. I didn't know that, but let me just show you real quick. Don't flip the tractor. As you can see in the bottom right, <coughs> needs plowing. So yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. It's uh, a very annoying, painful job, to be honest. Uh, doing the plowing in between the olive trees. Because if you rem remember from previous time, it leaves... Uh, that's the wrong button. Quite a few spots that's not being plowed up. Uh, let's see, cultivate it. Doesn't oh that's the wrong uh, the wrong one needs plowing as you can see over here yeah let me just show you what I mean in case you didn't see on the previous episode that I did this wasn't the previous episode but a few episodes ago uh, but yeah here we go we're gonna be plowing up in between the three in trees yeah you're gonna get stuck every now and then. That's also probably because this plow is a bit wider than it should be. As you can see, the tractor is sliding, sliding a little bit, as if you're driving on ice. Yeah, we're just gonna finish this one pass, and then I will show you what I mean. It's not the most fun job, to be honest. I mean, I like doing the olives, but uh, the. Uh, the plowing and the stuff in between that is kind of tedious if i'm honest uh, but yeah as you can see so we have done one pass over here it didn't do shit and you have to do the other side as well and if i'm gonna go on the other side there will be bits that are missed here and there so yeah that is uh well to be honest a little bit painful but yeah not much we can do about that. Uh, we can't use any plow uh, that's wider than this. I think this is two, two point three or two and a half uh, plows. Uh, that's not even a plow. It's a subsoiler. This one is okay. The PCA is two point five, so I'm guessing it's two point five meters in width. So yeah, we can't go any wider because then you don't fit in between the three trees. So yeah, now you have to go as close as you can to the olive trees, but not too close, because then you will stop moving. So you don't want to be crashing into those trees. And of course, as you can see, it's a kind of slow process. You can only do 9 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure if it's possible to uh, plant those trees further apart so that they will not be that close so that you can use a bigger plow maybe i'm not sure but yeah let me show you the minimap oh it's done better than previous uh, time that's for damn sure but yeah there are a few small bits as you can see here and there that are missed and to be honest i'm not going to be going over every little bit i'm just going to go in between each row and then it's fine by me then i'm done i'm not sure if it needs um, what's it called? The uh, nitrogen. The weeds are growing. Oh yeah, of course. We also need to do the uh, weeding. Spraying up the herbicide. 
that's fine, that's uh, that's doable. That's not as painful as plowing, to be honest. But yeah, this is uh, much better for you to to bear when uh, it is in a time lapse. So that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna start a quick little time lapse, and once we are done, I will be right back. Alright, here we go, we're coming up on the final piece and then we're gonna check the minimap, how well everything has been plowed up. And there we go, not bad. So yeah, since the olive uh, plantation gr grove, whatever, is not that big, it also didn't take very long. But yeah, this is what I mean. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna be doing anything about that because the previous time I think I went up and down between these trees about 48 times before it was a bit neater. So yeah, that's something that I'm definitely not going to be doing this time. I mean, over here it's like you've missed, I don't know, as if you've drew, uh, driven here without the plow lowered. And that's definitely not the case because I definitely did lower the plow. It's just uh, very odd. Yeah, it removed a little bit, <clears throat> but as you can see, it is missing bits again here and there, so... Yeah. I think it's fine like this. I'm not gonna be uh, driving uh, in between the trees anymore. That's that. That's fine by me. It's been plowed up, so that's perfect. All we have to do now is get rid of the weeds, and then we're done, and we'll just have to wait until the olives are ripe again for harvest. Um, I'm not really sure why I put that sprayer back, because we need it. And the plow was behind the sprayer. Alright, there we go. Plow was back in the shed, and now we're gonna be killing off all the weeds. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I also have to do the outside over here. So you gotta go past each tree on both sides. There we go. And I think that should do it. I think this is also one of the struggles I had uh, when we did, it, did this the first time. But yeah, it was all new to me. If I'm going to be doing olives again on a new series or if I'm going to be expanding the olive trees on this series, then I think I want to be spreading, spreading them a bit further apart. I want to try at least. See if that works. Then again, maybe this sprayer will not be able to uh, reach the trees on both sides. But yeah, that is something that we will find out in the future. Alright, there we go. Let's see if it's working. Okay. For a second there I thought it didn't. Yeah, it's showing weed growing on this side because the trees, uh, these trees haven't been uh, sprayed with herbicide on both sides. But over here, it's perfect. Okay. Very nice. Well, that means that we are going to be starting a, another short little time lapse. Whoops crashed into a tree my bad and in another one holy hell what what am i doing there we go that's better drive in between the trees please and of course also switch on the herbicide in time all right there we go so like i said before i so rudely interrupted by crashing into a tree 
I'm going to be starting another little time lapse. And once we are almost finished, I think it will be a very short time lapse. But then I will be right back. All right, there we go. And that is already the final row of trees being uh, sprayed with herbicide. Like I said, that was a quick little short time lapse. And there we go. That is all good. I don't think we have to do anything about the nitrogen. The pH is still perfect. No weeds, no plowing, no nothing. It's all good. Well, plowing is maybe required here and there, but yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing that. I wonder if it still says that it needs plowing somewhere. The weeds are growing over here, apparently. Did I miss something? Hmm. I doubt it. I may have gone up and down the same road twice. I noticed that uh, once I was driving, uh, but yeah, it's fine like this. I think the olives should do fine. I think we're going to be having a nice harvest again once they are ripe. Uh, for now, I'm going to be putting everything back in the shed and then we're going to be skipping a month because we're going to be moving on to December and we're going to be selling all the straw, make a little bit more money because our bank account is kind of low, only 3,700 euros at the moment. We are still bringing in some money from the greenhouse, of course. Uh, the greenhouse is still processing the goods and I'm not be storing any pallets. They are being sold immediately. So yeah, the money is uh, trickling in slowly. So we're not going to be going bankrupt anytime soon. All right, there we go. So I guess I will see you... Um, well, I think I will bring you guys back once we are at the sell point for the straw. Alright, good morning. Welcome in December. As you can see, we are here at the sell point. Well, we are close to the sell point. And we're going to be selling the straw. It's currently above the uh, max price, so that's good. I believe the price, if I'm not mistaken, should be around 93 euros for each thousand liters. And the max price was set at 91, so yeah, we're a little bit above. We're not be gonna be expecting anything crazy because yeah, it's only straw. But yeah, 93 is still good. So here we go. Noise. So 15,600 plus 1,700 euros. Not bad at all. All right. I'm going to be making a short trip back to the farm. I'm going to be loading uh, all the other bills on the trailer as well. Don't worry, I think I will do that off camera because otherwise it's going to be probably a bit painful to watch. Although maybe with the uh, forklift I will do a better job. I don't know. We'll see how it goes and you will find out in the video. For me it's still unknown. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I will be right back. Okay, so here we are again at the sell point. As you can see, it went, well, rather well, I should say. Of course, I don't advise anyone to be driving in real life with a trailer loaded like this, because that would be dangerous, but in FS, I think I did a pretty good job. Alright, here we go. Final bills being sold. Noise. 14,715 plus 1,626. Not bad at all. That brings our bank account back to 39,000 euros and 14 euros. So, not bad at all. All right. So, next job will be... Well, I'm going to be keeping the animals alive, of course. But I will do that off camera. I will give them some food. I will give them some water. And, well, next job, as you can see already over there in the distance... The big field and the other field over there, they they need some some crops in it. Because yeah, we gotta get stuff growing. 
But yeah, it's December currently, so there will be nothing available to be sowing or planting. So we're going to be skipping a little bit more time until we reach, I don't know, March or April. Kind of depending on when, uh, what I want to plant or sow. So yeah, I think I will be having a quick look at the crop calendar and then decide what I'm going to be planting. So we'll find out in just a few seconds. All right, good morning on this cold February morning. As you can see, everything is covered in, well, it's not really snow, but yeah, frost, ice. Not sure what it is, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, February is the best time for honey. As you can see, I just finished uploading the trailer with all the uh, pellets of honey we had. Yeah, I thought so. There was one more over here. It's not a full pellet, but... We're going to be delivering it to the sell point anyway. There we go. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the price for honey is currently above the max price. So that is very, very good. That's the reason why we are selling this, of course. Just a quick little selling a session of the honey. And then we will move on to the uh, growing of the two fields, which are still uh, without a crop. Okay, I will leave this here for now. Put some straps over. There we go. So that is 4,820 liters of honey. Uh, that is because per pellet, I think it's for 400 liters, something like that. Yeah, 400 liters per pellet. So yeah, it's not a thousand liters per pellet as usual, but 400. So, all right, I'm going to be driving over to the sell point. To be honest, I have no idea where I have to sell these pellets. Oh boy, that is not good. Maybe I should drive a little bit more careful. All right, here we are. So the sell point is at Cooperative, which is straight ahead. Straight ahead for loose materials and over here for the pellets. So we're just going to be driving into the trigger. Oh, there it goes already. All right, not bad. 11,500 euros. And that is for something which had uh, zero work put into it because yeah you just place the beehives and that's it they don't need any food they don't need any maintenance so it's all extra which is quite good uh, let me show you the price 21.58 normally 21.29 so yeah pretty good price all right i'm gonna go back to the farm uh, do some preparations here and there and then we will start uh, on those two empty fields. All right. Sorry, I lied. Uh, we're not going to be uh, sowing those fields just yet. Because as you can see, I have loaded up the uh, sunflower oil. Because apparently sunflower oil is best around February, March. And... As you can see, we have two pellets of olive oil, but they are best in May. But yeah, the price is actually already decreasing. Which I did not expect. I thought it would increase a little bit more, but no. Uh, let me show you. Sunflower oil, currently 4101. It says it's increasing again, but yeah, it's been dropping. You see March, February, March is best, 4168, 4101. So yeah, we're pretty close to the best price. So we're going to be selling these 12 pellets. So yeah, another quick little selling session before we start seeding, sowing uh, these two fields. I will see you at the sell point. All right, here we are. We have to sell at the cooperative again. So same place as we sold the honey. So here we go. Man, look at our bank account. Holy hell. 54,649 euros. Holy shit. That is pretty, pretty good. Oh man. Not bad at all. And I believe the... Uh, the oil mill isn't even done yet. Yeah, we still have 33,000 liters of sunflower. So that should equate to about 15,000 liters of sunflower oil. So pretty good. We're going to be making a lot of money next year. Um, but yeah, that's that. Now it's time to move on and let's uh, start the sewing. All right. So as we know by now, there's always something that I forget. And that means that we first have to... Uh, spray this field with lime or we spread lime 
because the pH value is not perfect. It's also not good, but it was okay. And okay is not good enough. Luckily, the huge field over there in the back is still good. So the pH is not perfect, but good. And good is good enough. Does not impact the yield too much. So, yeah. First, spread this, lime, uh, this field with lime. After that, we're going to be starting the sowing. It's been a long time coming. I think I've mentioned it about 50 times already this episode. But we really, really will get around to it. There were so many other jobs to do. We had to make a lot of money, of course. That's also very important. Also, I have been thinking about how long I want to keep this series going. Uh, I think we are doing quite well. The fact that the economic difficulty is set to normal. I think we are doing very good. I mean, we have 105,000 euros. We have all the machinery that we could ever want and need. We've got quite a few big fields. We've got animals. So I think we are pretty successful, to be honest, in this survival challenge. Don't worry. I will not be ending the series after this episode. We will still be doing the uh, selling of all the sunflower oil and well we also have three fields growing with canola which we want to convert into canola oil. That is also something that we first have to sell. But I'm not sure if this uh, series will go on as long as the previous series. I think the previous one had 50 episodes and we are now currently on episode... 38 or something yeah 38 so I'm not sure yet how long I want to keep this going I was thinking about ending it uh, as soon as we have enough money to buy a house because as you may have noticed we still live inside that RV or trailer or whatever that camper and yeah we really really need to upgrade to a uh, normal house but yeah looking at our bank account we have more than enough money to buy an actual house. So yeah, if that would be my goal, then we can end it right here. And that is not not uh, what I had in mind. Maybe I even want to do another olive harvest. I think we will actually. Because the olives will be ready this year. And these two fields are sown this year. So we also need to be harvested this year. Yeah, so we will keep it going for a little longer. But I'm not sure if we're going to make it to episode 50. But that's fine. I already have something else in mind. Something interesting. And something different than this series. I think in the next series I will change the economic difficulty to easy. And go all out. Try to go for the biggest machinery. Everything that we can buy. It's all big. Mega. As big as we can go. But yeah. Not sure yet. That will be done later. I'm still working on it. Still uh, thinking about it. Nothing has been made up yet. So yeah, we will find out later. For now, well, we are almost done. So I will just do a quick little jump cut. And I think I will bring you guys back once we are ready to start sewing. Alright, good morning. Welcome to April. As you can see, we've already started sowing this field. And we, you can see at the bottom right, we will be putting in sorghum. That's right. I want to create sorghum flour. So we've already done the oats, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oats flour. And this time I want to do the, uh, the sorghum flour. I was thinking about also doing the uh, wheat or the barley flour. But yeah, wheat and barley can only be planted in... Well, later this year, around October, uh, October, November time, something like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, September, October. So yeah, that's a good time to be putting in the sorghum. And we're going to do that in both of these fields. So the field we're working in right now isn't that big, but this field, oh boy, that is quite large. And our seed drill isn't uh, that big, so I think that's going to be uh, quite a big job. But that's fine, it will pay off in the end, of course. 
Alright, we're already coming back to the starting point, so we have already done one lap around the headland. I'm just going to do the rest of the field. I'm going to be starting a quick little time lapse. And well, oh, don't drive into the crop. Because, yeah, it's in the next growth stage, so you will destroy the crop if you drive on it. But yeah, I'm going to be starting a little time lapse, and I will bring you guys back uh, when I'm almost finished with both of these fields. There we go, we're almost finished, just a small piece remaining. Yep, there we go, we are finished. Noise, not bad at all. Okay, turn it off, fold it up, and let's go back to the farm. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, don't flip the seed drill, that will be bad. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Big field done, a small piece over there that is also finished. Both fields got sorghum growing. Not bad. So yeah, next jobs will be of course weeding, rolling, fertilizing. But I think that is something that I'm going to save for the next episode. I think this is a good time to end it here today. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, well, you know what to do guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.